Yeah, I have a lot of things I'm doing. Uh, next week I'm going to have an MRI to find out whether or not I have claustrophobia. And then I'm going to episiotomy school. <laughs> That's when a woman... Yeah. And, and, <laughs> Don't do that with and, your hands. And then, uh, then I'm going to teach at summer camp by Nova Scotia. I teach every June for six weeks, which is weird because it's only four weeks in June. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm curious, did you spend your whole life in Boston? Uh, no, I went to high school in London because we moved around a lot because my father thought he was in the military. <laughs> so we would go around. He's a weird... I mean, I, when I was a child, I sexually molested my parents. <laughs> and he, he screwed up from there. You, know? <laughs> you wouldn't know it by looking at him or listening to him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you, uh... You used to work in a pet store, is that no, right? No, no. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, that's not the right card. <laughs> All right, well. If, if I had worked in a pet store, mm -hmm. like when I was 16 and, mm -hmm. they, and they had fired me for like, maybe because they had three snakes in there and one day I braided them, Like, that's what I would have said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I used to steal rabbits around Easter. We'd shave the rabbits and dip them in boiling chocolate, you know. And, and then it would harden in very action-like positions. And I think that's what you're referring to by that thing there. That fake index. Nice to have you here. Yeah. Did you, um... I, did you hurt yourself on the guitar? You, what, what did you do? Did you hurt your finger? What's the story? No, I thought I did, but I, I have a paper cut from writing my suicide note. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I cut it on the table of contents. You, you wrote a yeah. table of contents. Well, it's 850 pages long, and, uh, you know, I kept going off on tangents, never getting around to why I was going to kill myself, trying to hold the reader's attention as long as possible. <laughs> You know, asking fake questions, you know, uh -huh. is there a space between the wall and the paint? <laughs> and, uh... Well, is there? <laughs> you don't know? You know, uh, how long does a note have to be before it's considered a book? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good question, though. That's the important thing. Have you thought of writing a book? Have you written a book? I, I have written uh, about five books. Okay, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware. That's all right. The first one is a children's book. It's not selling too well. It's called, uh, It's a Scary, Violent Life. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's what it says on the bottom of every page. Really, and it's, it's not working? I illustrated working? it myself. I did it with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I wrote, How to Drink Heavily and Do Your Taxes. <laughs> Then I wrote, uh, do submarines have backup lights? <laughs> Which is a very political-oriented book. It's uh, my theory that the ending of the Cold War is what caused global warming. Uh, Actually, it's about the same time. Yes, same time. Hasn't been pointed out. <laughs> I also wrote uh, how to translate books without ever reading either one of them. And then I wrote how to read books on tape. Now, I did two versions of that. The first one is relatively normal. And then the second one is a simulated recording of the first one of a guy reading it on tape. And, it just uh, broke my mind. Thank you. And I'm also trying to invent something. Oh, really? What are you going to invent? I'm going to try to invent live animation. <laughs> I just can't get people that can draw that fast. <laughs> well, Thank let's, you. This is an appeal. If you're out there. <laughs> but I go in the woods and, and butterflies, I don't hunt or anything, but butterflies are the only things that I'll just kill. <laughs> 
Why would you kill butterflies? Because they're arrogant. <laughs> They, they've gotten so many compliments over the years, they just have an attitude, you know. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Little kids walking by, kids gone. I smashed this thing with a rock. <laughs> you kill butterflies with a rock because you think they're too full of themselves. Yes, I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> and, and any other animals, or that's it? Just butterflies? No, just butterflies. Okay. What if you see, like, a cocoon? Would you crush a cocoon? No, because that gets into uh, free choice. You know? <laughs> pro-choice. That's a pro-choice thing. How did that help anything? <laughs> did you uh, did you actually study music? Or you... I don't really know. I, <laughs> I've been playing for years, but I... I don't, I studied briefly in, at the Berkeley School of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. And, um, <laughs> okay. for about uh -huh. two years, uh -huh. uh, under the, uh, Dr. Philip Phillipson. Oh. Have you ever heard of him? No, never heard of him. I'd, I'd know that, that name. I, I didn't hear of him. You do know, or you, you know? No, no, I would have yeah, known. I, I, I wouldn't I, think that you would know that. Not anything about you being a stupid moron no, no 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 and he had this weird way he was very strange man he had taught music as if like to sculpt like you know when you sculpt you take away stuff until you get what you want you chip away chip away so that's what he said to do with music if you're going to write a piece of music you first you had to write all the notes that you weren't going to use so, and which took hours and weeks and weeks, uh -huh. and just, you know, uh -huh. on and on and on and on. Like, that was actually my thesis, and that was... Really? It took me 17 months to write that. So. Uh-huh. And you gradually pulling everything yeah, away. Pulling and... away, pulling away, pulling away, and, uh... Um, years... <laughs> I'm just curious, something. where did you where did you go right there? I'm just Miami. curious. Miami, Why didn't you take us with you? <laughs> Uh, years later, someone asked him, why don't you just write the music rather than this? And he just looked at the person and he shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> and, which I took as like, he was even doing that. That was, he was removing himself from the teaching. And it was like, <laughs> part of as his a whole, statement. Part of his whole philosophy, really. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. Uh, teach at summer camp by Nova Scotia. I, I'm in charge of activities. Activities. I, I can't really ever think of anything for the children to do, so I bring them down to the lake and I just explain to them that no one knows really why we're alive and eventually we're all going to die. <laughs> <coughs> well, did, did, did you yourself go to camp? Yes. Did you, did you go to camp? Uh, yeah, I went yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I enjoyed it. I remember um, this counselor asked if you could be any animal you'd want to be and what animal would you want to be? And I said I'd be a bird. And she said, why? So you could fly? And I said, no, so my it would be white. <laughs> oh, now you've deserved, deserved a sip now. Yeah. <laughs> And I think you've earned it now. She hung herself, and we thought she was a piñata. <laughs> what do you, Stephen Wright, what do you do for fun? How do you... I, I like to go, in, uh, you know, into bookstores and order books that I know they don't have. Like, <laughs> really? I'll go in, I'll ask, do you have that book, you know, that midget cookbook? <laughs> I don't know if it's for midgets or it's written by midgets. <laughs> <laughs> do you have that book, you know, uh... Uh, what is it? Uh, I was making it up earlier. <laughs> book, uh, oh, yeah, Children of Unwed Mothers. <laughs> and the ne uh, Narcoleptic Necrophilia book about the guy who falls asleep when he has sex with dead women. And, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that, you know, people happened? just blankly stare at me. I don't know what's happening. I also am into photography. You are? Yes. <laughs> You just gave Andy a heart attack. <laughs> you can't new... threaten me with your photography. <laughs> yeah. I have a new camera. It's very advanced. You don't even need it. You don't even need it. Yeah. 
You, uh... I... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Wait, you, you don't even need it. <laughs> you got a... Very advanced. Uh, very advanced. That's pretty advanced. Yeah. You, I haven't seen you in a while. I gotta say, I don't know if, you know, you've always been a thin guy, but you, you look even thinner. Have you lost weight? I come on here and you judge me? <laughs> <laughs> I have been losing weight. I've been eating at a restaurant called Bulimia's. <laughs> the, the line for the bathroom is incredible. <laughs> I, I'm also on an all-liquid... <laughs> I'm also on an all-liquid diet, and uh -huh. I've cut out all liquids. <laughs> so I'm living, like, on fumes, you know. And, and, but uh -huh. I don't like to eat. Do you like to eat? I, I, yeah, I do, yeah. You, you, I don't, I think it's, like, as an animal, we're animals, right? Yeah, absolutely. I would... <laughs> it's one of the things I don't like about being an animal, you know. Oh, I gotta eat. Oh, now I have to eat. Oh, I, you know, if they made a pill that you could take January 1st so you wouldn't have to eat the whole year, I would eat, I would take that. They have one, it's just not perfected yet. It's called cyanide. <laughs> and, but I, when I do eat, I eat very, very fast so uh -huh. I can get it over with. Very fast. In fact, I, I brought a clip. Can we show a clip of me having breakfast, please? Very nice work. You got a, uh, you got a movie coming out? Is that what I hear? You got a uh, movie coming no, out? No, no. <laughs> I'm not in any new movie or at all of stuff. I brought, I brought a clip of those, of some kittens. <laughs> Can we roll that if we have that? <laughs>